hello there my friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video we're gonna talk about Tammy Abraham Mauro Icardi and Thomas Tuchel stay tuned and watch this video until the end because sometimes it doesn't make sense at the beginning but it will make sense at the end Anyways, let's start by Tammy Abraham. What can I say about this boy? Clearly, Thomas Tuchel doesn't rate Tammy Abraham at all. He gave so many interviews since he joined Chelsea Football Club and he repeat the same things over and over again. I like the clarity from him because, you know, he would tell you the truth in face. He doesn't like hide it and talk behind somebody's back clearly he's telling people that Tammy Abraham is not good enough he is just a bench warmer who can help us sometimes if if we need him from the bench he said it also for uh, Christian Pulisic but in another way Christian Pulisic you can understand because of his injuries we need to manage his playing time and such so you understand that he will start as an impact from the bench but could develop to becoming the number one if he stays fit no doubt about it when it comes to Olivier Giroud everybody knows that Olivier Giroud is a professional bench warmer and this is not even an insult because he's been that way at Arsenal at Chelsea but every time he is on the field, he tries to prove people wrong and will score you some important goals. But honestly, he's not like the number one uh, striker that you can count week in and week out. When it comes to Timo Werner and Kai Havert, Thomas Tuchel's always defend them. When they miss his opportunities, he says, oh, maybe we didn't create enough chances. We didn't create enough quality chances for them to, to score. He even joked about uh, Gundogan not passing the ball properly to Timo Werner when he, he missed a chance with the national team. You know what I mean? So it's always like trying to protect them and give excuses for their bad form. But when it comes to Tammy Abraham, he is very straight away okay you have to make an impact immediately or you are out he even brings a lot of statistics to prove that uh, timo verna is doing great at chelsea football club yesterday did you watch the press conference pretty much he went through the statistics to show people that timo verna is creating a lot of space a lot of chances to to the team and if he's not performing it's because we're not creating enough quality chances and also the defenders are very good and making it almost impossible for timo verna to score he said it about porto he said that uh, the porto team makes everything difficult for everybody so don't blame timo verna for missing even one-on-ones so clearly Thomas Tuchel has a mindset when it comes to certain players, which is normal because Lampard also had a mindset about certain players, Mauricio Sarri, Jose Moreno, and Antonio Conte. Every manager in the world got some kind of mindset when it comes to certain players. The problem is some of them exaggerate because it becomes just personal. I don't trust you because you are young. I don't believe that 18 years old can be a top. You need to be 23. It's black and white, you know? And I'm talking here about uh, Mauricio Sorry, for example. He came to Chelsea, he chose 11 players and everybody else is nothing. No matter how hard you work, no matter what you're gonna do in the future, I don't really care about you i'm not gonna use you you are not on my plan or i can use you only in case of urgency if people got injured or if the club 
force me to use you, I can do something about it. But right now, you are out. That's the way it is, my friend, and has nothing to do with uh, two call. It's not a Chelsea thing. It's not a two calls thing. It's every manager's thing. Klopp, Guardiola, you name it. They have their favorite, and it's always impossible to please 25 players in a team. It's not fair, but life in general is not fair anyways. You're going to hurt people no matter what you do. And in a team like Chelsea Football Club, it's not different. It's hurt, but there is nothing you can do about it. Somebody like Tammy Abraham deserves to play games. He deserves to be there, at least given a chance. But what can you do? If you look at his statistics, he's better than anybody that we have in that final third. But still, people are not happy about uh, his performances. He can't miss a chance, but other people are allowed to make mistakes and learn from them. For some reason, many people are convinced that it's done for Tammy Abraham. He's just not Chelsea level. But for other players, they are so convinced that uh, they are going to make it one way or another. You see how this double standard works? The narrative in the Chelsea community is that Tammy Abraham can't score in big games. He only scores against small teams. But the same people forget that big or small team, you get three points. You're not going to get nine points by winning against Man City. The same people forget that that is Mourinho's tactics. Win against small teams and draw get the result against big teams and you win the league that the way it is but they are praising the people who can't even score against the so-called small teams <laughs> you see how it works tammy only scores against the small teams but we don't love you you are crap we have to be new you are nobody you have to go but we love the people who can't even score against the so-called small teams haha -ha! geniuses right one more thing before i finish this tummy's never-ending debate let me know how many times have we lost against the so-called small teams and win against the so-called big big teams and what the difference the bottom line is Depending on your agenda, you can find statistics, theories to glorify or to demonize somebody. Does that make sense? So, the goal for this video or any other video that I make in my channels is to tell the truth. I give you facts and it's up to you to take them or leave them. I know I got an agenda against everybody, okay? I got an agenda against uh, Timo Werner, Kai Harvard, Thomas Tuchel, Aspiliqueta, Thiago Silva, Marcos Alonso, you name it. Tomorrow it's going to be you have an agenda against Manson Mount, you have an agenda against uh, Christian Pulisic and Hakim Ziyech because you can't criticize anybody. You have to just uh, press, 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 press and lie, lie, lie. Don't tell the truth. If somebody doesn't perform good, you have to pretend that he performs good in order to make fanboys happy. I'm not going to be able to make 100,000 people happy in my channels. It's impossible. So this is the nature of the business. So don't waste your time even to remind me about agendas because I have agendas against everybody. Remember? Context, common sense, truth only work when it fits your agenda. Simple as that. Let's talk quickly about Mauro Icardi. We all know that Chelsea are looking for a clinical striker. And Mauro Icardi got goals. And he is not wanted by PSG right now. 
for many reasons. His private life is affecting his professional life. I'm not going to remind you everything that happened between him and his friend. He took his friend's wife and the rest of the story is so complicated and I am not going to try to be an expert here because there is always two sides of the story. I think Icardi been demonized a lot but the truth could be different. Who knows? All I care is about Icardi, the football player, if you know what I mean. On the field, what you do on the field is the most important. Your private life, I don't really care. Right now, he is having some trouble on the field. He became a little bit fat, if I have to be honest with you. He became heavy. Let me make it the right way. He, be he became a little bit toxic in the dressing room and all that and PSG are trying to get rid of him as soon as possible. They bought him for 50 million and they are willing to get even 30 million just to get rid of him. So what a striker when it comes to finishing. Bear with me here, a good striker when it comes to finishing. The laziest striker on the planet Earth. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't even sweat on the field. The guy is too lazy that he always wait for the ball in the box or around the box so he can score. But when it comes to scoring, my goodness, the most clinical football player that I've never seen my entire freaking life. At Chelsea Football Club, maybe we need somebody like him because we have all the qualities in the team, but we can't score goals. So if you have somebody like Icardi, just let him sit at the edge of the box and he will score you all kind of goals. He's very good heading, he's very good shooting from distance, dribbling in the box, getting penalties, tricking the goalkeeper, all kind of goals this guy knows how to score them. That tells you how desperate I am to get somebody who can score me some goals at Chelsea Football Club few months back i wouldn't even consider this guy near my freaking club because of his antics but right now i am ready to take anybody that can score me 20 plus goals a season and you're gonna remind me of Haaland and other big names but this is just on paper brother you don't know what's gonna happen at the end of the the window so we have to keep an open mind and not put all our eggs in one basket. Thomas Tuchel is a big fan of Mauro Icardi and he doesn't like Tammy Abram or Olivier Giroud. They are going to leave next summer and if we miss out on big names, I can see him asking for the board to bring Icardi a Chelsea football club. And if you bring somebody like Icardi at Chelsea Football Club, get ready because you're going to have a lot of drama. Let me know what you think about Tammy Abraham's situation. Also, don't forget to comment on Mauro Icardi. Would you like to see him at Chelsea Football Club? Let's have a clean conversation. God bless you. Think outside the box and see you in the next one.